Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to um, Korean Atlanta Mentorship. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the difference between um, my world when I'm in my own house versus every time I step outside my house, right? They're two different worlds. And so when I'm in my own house, I just use that as an opportunity to just kind of brainwash myself into success. And it's really not that hard, right? You just kind of take out the negative influences, you eat kind of healthy, and then you just kind of same things over and over again, um, kind of like a cult leader, but I'm not a cult leader. I, I, I kind of promise you that, but I'm not. Maybe I'm joking. But anyways, so um, one of the things that I do is that I don't really wait for the perfect moment for success, right? Now, I realize that so many people are waiting for that. I mean, think about how people um, and their mindset are with like the housing market, right? Oh, I'm only going to buy when the interest rates are are lower, but guess what? Once the interest rates are lower, then the prices are going to go up, right? So, so you can kind of see that everywhere. But for me, I'm just not waiting for the perfect moment. I'm not waiting for the perfect moment to create a YouTube video. I'm not making a waiting for the perfect moment to apply for credit. Or once I'm, you know, going to go back into buying homes, I'm still not waiting for the perfect moment. I'm just going to send a bunch of letters, and we'll see what phone calls I get, right? I mean, we got to be strategic about our plans. But we're not waiting for the perfect moment. We're not. And so what happens to a lot of people is that regardless of their income level, and, and think about this. When I, I learned about velocity banking back in 2017, I was only making 20 grand a year. 20 grand, right? And so when I was – first time I learned it, I did not understand anything that was being talked about. All I remember was that tagline – uh, seven to ten years to pay off your mortgage. Now, would I would I advertise it like that? Probably not, just because I'm a little bit more, uh, I say, um, learned in that subject, right? Educated in that subject. I wouldn't really advertise it that way. But what I'm saying is that I went to it. Okay, I didn't learn anything from that meeting because I was just completely confused. And um, just that the 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 fact that someone said you could pay off that thirty year mortgage in in seven to ten. I was like, you know what, even if I don't understand what they're talking about right now, if I just learn it over and over and over and over again, and once I buy that home, I'll be able to pay it off quickly. And I was only making 20 grand a year. So um, maybe I was delusional back then, but you know what, the delusionality got me to where I'm here right now, right? And so how many people do you know who make even good money and are still struggling? It's because um, they're just waiting to succeed. In a perfect world, I mean, I mean, remember when I talked about that nurse who just came up to me and said, "Hey, I want to learn real estate investing from you," and she had owned two properties for at least ten years and had to sell one of them off in a really nice area because of cash flow issues. And you're a nurse, and your husband works. You know what I mean? Like you have all the right combinations to succeed, but you couldn't do it because. We're waiting for that perfect moment to learn the things that, that we should have learned at probably a long time ago, right? And that's the problem with a lot of people, regardless of their income level, that they're just waiting, just waiting and waiting and waiting for that perfect moment to succeed. I mean, think about applying for credit, right? You know what I hear a lot? Oh, when's the best moment to, to apply for credit? Today, right? Even if your credit is bad, even if your credit is good, right? You got to be a little bit strategic about it. But the problem, the reason why I say, and again, I'm not giving you actual advice. I'm just saying to myself, even if I had bad credit today, why would I still apply? So I can know what the lenders are looking for. So once I get that letter of rejection, oh, you did not get, uh, you know, approved for this credit card because of X, Y, Z. And then now I'm getting data points on how to ex succeed, even though my state is not what I want it to be. You, you see what I'm saying? But so many people are like, I got to wait for the perfect moment. I got to wait for the perfect moment. And I'm going to tell you something. As a person who has over 500,000, I can't even remember what the actual, actual numbers are, 516, 526, I don't even care. Over $500,000 in lines of credit, I got rejected for credit 12 times this year, right? But remember that saying, you miss 100% of shots that you, you don't take? Because that's what people do. They just don't take any shots. And so they just talk about doing things over and over and over again and they're just waiting for that perfect world or scenario to happen and then wonder why why it hasn't happened yet right like even with this youtube channel like it's not convenient for me to make a youtube video right now in fact i want just want, i just want to go to sleep i just want to go to sleep and do nothing and play that new zelda game that came out where you actually play as princess zelda right remember remember when we thought that that was an impossibility if you know what i'm talking about but back to my point 
is that people are just waiting for that perfect moment. And you know what I always think about these days? I always think about the president of El Salvador. Remember when El Salvador had that reputation until like a couple of years ago about it's just very dangerous uh, gangster filled place. And, you know, you're going to probably get your whatever chopped off by the machetes and all that. And I'm and, you know, that president. You know why I, I really have like an admiration from him? Because before he ran, there was all these articles like, oh, this guy thinks he can he can change El Salvador. And now like the articles like, well, he changed El Salvador, but at what cost? You know what I mean? So everything, every news media piece about him is always like this negative spin. And if I were him now or in his shoes and I were, cha- uh, t- um, you know, I put basically – had the task of changing country from El Salvador, where it's all filled with gangsters, and to change it with a couple of years. Um, get like, what if he had said something like, "Oh my goodness, I'm just going to wait until you know the right conditions to change my country." Like, oh, I'm just going to wait until you know the the gangsters, the gang leaders are 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 kind of like you know nicer in a couple of years. You know what I mean? Like people have that kind of mentality, and then he just went in and did it. He just went in and did it. And he didn't wait for the perfect moment. He just said, okay, I'm going to run now and do it. And, and he did what he did, right? He didn't wait for the perfect moment. Because when would have been the perfect moment to be the president of El Salvador and change the country with all the gangs and stuff and the security issues? Never. If you took take a look at most people and how they think, especially in the United States, it's just they're just waiting to succeed in a perfect world, Right. Like, oh man, when all my credit is good, then I'm gonna do velocity banking. I'm gonna study it. Oh man, when all when I get all my ducks in order and listen, that's kind of like that. When you tell me that, I already know you're kind of gonna fail. I'm not gonna say 100% you're gonna fail, but what I'm saying is that you gotta learn this stuff um, right now so that you have time to digest the material. And so when it's time to strike, right? It's time to strike. And when the iron is hot. You're going to pay off that mortgage in three to seven years, right? I paid mine off under three, but too many people, I'm telling you, every time I step outside my house, it's just like, I can't do it because I'm waiting for that perfect moment. And then three to five years will have passed and you did absolutely nothing, right? And I'm not saying this just to be harsh on you. It's just that every single day I I step outside of my house and I present some of the ideas I talk about here and it's always the same attitude. And again, even with that nurse who makes over $200,000 a year, uh, I've been talking about home equity lines of credit for for a month. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, I'm not looking down on her, but you could have been successful five to 10 years ago if you had known the strategy. And now you know the strategy. Why aren't you putting, you know, um, the gas on the gas pedal and just trying to get that home equity line of credit. Who cares if you get rejected? And I've noticed that she's she's hesitant and the hesitation doesn't come from that she can't do it. It comes from the mindset, right? It's the mindset that we're waiting for that perfect moment and that perfect world rather than just, hey, even if I'm broke right now, making 20 grand a year, okay, I'm still going to learn this velocity banking thing. I'm not going to wait. I'm going to learn everything that I can. And hey, even if the teacher sucks at what, what how he's teaching it, I'm, I'm going to make it better and, and I'm going to make it my own style, right? You got to have that positive attitude, but most people are just like negative, right? They're, they're always negative and say, well, I'm only going to do this when X, Y, Z happens. Tell that to the president of El Salvador before he ran, right? Just wait until the gangs get, you know, the conditions of security and the gangsters get all better. And then you run. You're like, no, screw that. I'm going to run, right? And you got that's why you got to be the captain of your own life and not wait for permission from other people to succeed. But this is what people do to each other. This is how they hold each other back because they're always trying to make it seem like you can't succeed without someone else's permission. It, it, especially random strangers. You ever notice that random strangers sometimes do that to you? You meet them for like one or two times and then you tell them their ideas. And I'm not saying every stranger is like that because sometimes strangers are the most um, supportive of you, of your ideas more than you, your, your friends and family. But sometimes you just go and talk to them and they will like, well, why, why would, you know, why would that work? You know what I'm saying? But again, you need to have a positive attitude and, and to the point of delusionality. Cause think about it, if you were in my shoes in 2017 and made only 20 grand a year, what evidence would there be that you would be successful? Almost none. Right. And I paid off my mortgage under three years. And to me, even when I, talk about it, it doesn't even feel real to me anymore just because sometimes i just feel like i gotta over explain to people you know 
you like so that's what happens when you do things that are almost unbelievable you end up over explaining to them no 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 this is real and then you kind of start doubting yourself too that's but that that's a good problem to have so so you know <laughs> just a random side tangent there but my point is that you succeed in an imperfect world and the reason why most people are failures is because we're they're waiting for that perfect moment to succeed and you can't do that right now obviously you got to be strategic about how you do things but if, if one two five ten years passes and you're still waiting for that perfect world, nothing's going to happen. Nothing, right? Okay, well, that's it for today's Korean Atlanta Mentorship. It's just some pep talk. So uh, maybe I'll record a no-velocity banking video right now because I know you all need that high, that fix of those spreadsheets, and that generates me about 300 to $400 a month just on ad revenue. So if you want to kind of steal some of that ad revenue from me, go ahead and create some of those videos with spreadsheets, you know what I'm saying? All right, have a great day, and we'll speak next time.